When you think of creating a chart or graph, you usually think of tools such as Excel or PowerPoint. But there are other options out there such as VisMe, which is an online presentation and infographic tool. In this short tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can easily use this tool to customize every aspect of the look and feel of your charts and graphs and also make them engaging and appealing to the eye. So let's get started. So what you can do now is create bar charts and all types of stacked charts. So you see here you have a stacked vertical bar chart and then you have a stacked area chart. And basically what this is is useful for comparing parts of a whole. So here you can see not only um, the number of hours spent per day on mobile devices or any type of uh, screen, but you can also see the, the breakdown of each of these values. And the same goes for this area chart. And with VisMe, you can also convert these into 3D versions, as you see here. And for example, you have this horizontal bar chart that you can also convert into a 3D version. And this is also a stacked bar chart. It's just horizontally oriented. You can also create um, any type of line graph with VisMe. And you see here that you have this very this straight line connecting the different points. So that's one style of a line graph. Then you have also um, this line graph, which is called a smooth line graph which uh, connects the different data points, but not with uh, an exactly straight line. They're curved lines. And you can see here that in Resume, you can superimpose other graphic elements, such as dashed lines and arrows and other text boxes. Now we have the traditional pie chart here, which you can create in Visme, and you can also rotate it and modify it so you can position a certain segment at a certain angle. For example, here we wanted to create a dramatic effect and place this very thin segment or slice of the pie at the very top. So you can modify the angle of each of the segments and you can also um, convert this into a 3D version as you see here. Next, you also have um, many different line graphs on one single visualization. You can also do that in VisMe. And um, this is a smooth line graph. You can also create 100% stacked area charts as you see here. So these are useful for also visualizing the, the composition of a certain population. For example, here the share of workers who took a week-long vacation. You can easily visualize that here. And then you also have scatter plots, which are useful for visualizing individual data points and identifying relationships between variables. Next, you also have uh, radar charts, which are also called spider graphs. And these are useful for um, creating identifiable shapes out of data. In this case, if you just had one chart, it wouldn't make much sense if you see the shape here. It doesn't really mean anything, but once you have a point of comparison, a reference point, and you can compare, for example, this is the ideal score versus the, the actual score, then you can compare shapes and easily identify um, what the comparison is. For example, here you can see Tom's sales score. You can see that his storytelling score is way below the ideal score. Or for example, you can see that um, his sales pitch is above average. So this is for uh, this is useful for comparing um, various values using just one shape. You also have donor charts within VisMe, which um, are similar to pie charts, and in the sense that you can also rotate them within VisMe as well. And you can also um, create legends, as you see here, and also um, position the values either inside the chart or outside, as you see here. But we'll get into that later. You can also convert this into a 3D version, as you see here. Finally, we also have funnel charts. And these are useful for visualizing, for example, um, the sales process. So you can see, for example, here the website visitor trend, and it's a way to represent the customer acquisition model of an organization. So you see here the number of people who visit a website, and then the number of people or percentage of people from those who, who continue on to the next stage of the sales process. 
This same um, sales process can also be visualized as a 3D funnel. So this is a 3D version of the previous graph or chart. And then you have also this pyramid, which is useful for visualizing hierarchical information. So if you have, for example, um, information organized according to levels, like levels of importance or levels of income or any type of level, then this is useful for that. Finally, you can also create MECO charts within Visme, which are commonly used to visualize marketing and sales data. So for example, here you can clearly see the relative market share of each of these four different brands in four different markets. But you can also visualize the overall contribution of each of the different brands in the entire device market. Once you're inside the Visme interface, what you can do is click on this icon, the charts and data widgets icon on the toolbar on the left side of your screen, and then choose the charts option up here. Then you'll see a pop-up window up here, and what you can do to insert your data is use one of three methods. You can e either manually copy and paste your data into this spreadsheet area, or you can import data from a Google Sheet by going to the Import tab, and you'll see here you have a space to copy and paste the URL of your Google Spreadsheet. So I'm going to go to my Google Spreadsheet right now, and I see here my data. So what I can do is go to the File menu, and then choose Publish to the Web option here. Next, I can click on Publish and press OK. And the link that appears, all I have to do is copy and then paste it into this text box right here. When I click Connect, you'll see the data appear here. The third option that you can use to insert your data is to upload an Excel file under the Import Data option here. You can simply click on this button and upload your Excel file. Once you have your information in your spreadsheet area, you may want to invert your rows and columns depending on how you've organized your data and how you want to visualize it. So instead of manually doing that, you can simply click on this button to switch the columns and the rows, and you see that it automatically does it for you. If you want to add more information or manipulate any of the data, you can now easily expand your work area by clicking on the Maximize button to the top right of your pop-up window. And if you want to make the preview chart bigger or change the size of your spreadsheet area, all you have to do is simply click on this handle between these two areas and drag and drop it depending on what you want to view. Let's say you want to view your preview, the, ch the preview of your chart, or if you want to view the spreadsheet area depending on your needs. So that's a nice new function that's available within Visme. Once you finalize all changes to your data, you can now choose any of the available chart types from the menu here on the left side of your pop-up window. So you see here all the 16 options I've described previously. You can also create or save your own color palettes for future use and reapply them as many times as needed. This is especially handy when your charts and graphs need to follow certain brand guidelines. So to create a new palette, all you have to do is simply click on one of these colors that appear here, and you see that the colors are next to the row of data that, are, that is being visualized. So it's very easy to see what it is that this represents. So what I do is click on this color swatch, and then you see here in the Colors tab, I can create my own color scheme and save it as a new palette. And what I can do here is simply click on the plus sign to add the hex code of the color I want to add, or let's say if I want to um, use any of these predetermined color schemes here, there are 50 of them, I can also choose from those. So once I've added the colors, let's say if I pick um, a random color here, and then I can add it to my color palette, for example, this color, I can add that. So let's say just for the sake of an example that this is my color palette, all I have to do is click on this option here, save palette, and then I give it a name. So let's say uh, I want to name this brand palette, and then I just click on OK. 
And then when I go to the My Palettes tab, I see that it's been saved here. So all I have to do when I want to reapply it is click on this, and then I see my saved colors here. You can then click on the Settings tab to customize the look and feel of your chart or graph. Depending on your chart, you'll see different options under the Style section of your settings. So for most of the chart types, you'll be able to turn the grid on or off, as you see here, and change the background color or leave it transparent. So all I have to do is click, click on this color swatch, and then I can apply any color that I want to the background. For pie and donut charts, you'll see an additional setting which allows you to adjust the angle of your pie chart so that you can position certain segments at a specific degree. You can either use the slider or you can manually insert the degree where you want uh, the pie chart to start. For the line and area graph types, you'll also be able to choose from different line graph types as seen here. So you can choose the smooth line, line, or step. Next, under the axis section of your settings, you can also choose to hide your axes or have them appear, and you can also adjust the angle of your label, which is especially useful when you have very long labels. In this section, you can also name your axes, and you can also customize everything from the color of your font here to the font style and the font size. One especially useful customization setting is the ability to set specific minimum and maximum y-axis values. So this allows you to truncate charts when appropriate, either to make a point or when it is accepted practice within a certain industry. So let's say in this case, just for the sake of an example, I want to truncate this chart so it starts at 5 because I want to zoom in in a certain area. And like I said, this is only appropriate in certain cases. What I can do is simply go to my settings options and I can place here minimum value and put here insert the value 5. So I click on replace and you see that my chart no longer starts at 0. Sometimes you'll want to create a very minimalist chart to give your audience a bird's eye view of your information without overwhelming them with details. In these cases you want to hide values so where you can do that under the value section here and you can deactivate this option so you can no longer see the values. Maybe you just want to show the overall trend and you don't want to overwhelm them with detail. You can do that here and sometimes you will want to provide them with the specific values and not only that but you want to provide them with certain symbols such as a dollar sign like prefixes and suffixes. So you can insert here a dollar sign or you can insert here for example percent sign or any other symbol. Sometimes you also want to adjust the placement of your legend and you can do that here um, you can choose to also hide your legend or show it, and then you can choose to place it either at the bottom or the top, the right or the left, and you can also choose to align it center, right or left, and change the color as well here, and adjust the font and the, the size of the font. Now if you're looking to create stack charts, you can also simply click on this button to activate that option. There are three different animation options within Visme, so you can choose one of, sorry, there are four different animation options. So you can choose either this one, which is, has a bouncy effect to it, an elastic one, ease out, and ease in. And finally, you can insert a title and subtitle for your chart under this section. And you can also, like everything else, you can adjust the size, you can adjust the color, you can adjust the font style, and you can choose from hundreds of different fonts here. So if you haven't already taken Visme's new chart tool for test drive, you can try it out for free at visme.co. And you can let us know what you think. Just leave us um, your comment in the comment section below. Or if you have any questions or concerns, don't hesitate to contact us via our support section.